Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today we're going to do something really exciting. I'm going to show you and talk about relationships in Power BI. And Power BI is a lot like SQL in a way, so we're going to be doing relationships between data tables, but we're not calling them joins. They're actually just relationships. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So let's look at our data first today. So today we're looking at redemption. So I always use real application, real business use case data. So in this case, we have hardware store data for a hardware store chain. This has three stores as the number of customer IDs is right here. That's each individual customer ID, store, transaction number, the date, offer number, discount, which is you know how many of these discounts are applied. And the, in this case, this uh, coupon, these, this series of coupons was limited to one coupon per customer. And uh, then the discount amount that was applied, they're different. So in some cases it was $2 off, in some cases it was a percentage, uh, 5, 10, 15%. So if we go to the, so that's tab one. So this is in three different tabs on an Excel sheet. Redemptions, campaign info, which is the offer number, the type, was it a mailer or was it app derived? Um, what was the offer? $2 off 5, $2 off 10, $2 off 15, 5% off, 10% off, or 15% off. And it wasn't off the entire purchase price. It was had a maximum value. I believe it was $25 if I'm correct. Yep, $25. And then the start date, end date, and the customer type. In this case, they had it, uh, they have their people segregated into uh, or segmented into three different groups: light shoppers, medium shoppers, and heavy shoppers. Obviously, it's hardware stores so that like to have more uh, terms that are more related to uh, shoppers rather than like primary, secondaries, and tertiaries. They like light, heavy, and medium. Um, so that's the second set of data. That's the campaign info. And then we also have potential of use cards. So the marketing department gave us a list of five cards. And these may or may not be in this list, but we've got five cards. And they want to identify if there were any uh, abuse cards in there or being used so that they can look at it and say was there one used was there two were all five used were none used so we've got three different sets of data and what you'll see between these three that's in common is in redemptions we have what we have offer number and in campaign info we have offer number so that's what we're going to be joining on there or building a relationship upon now the potential abuse cards only have one row of, or column of data and that's the customer number which we don't have in here but we do have in redemptions right we have the customer id here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to power bi and when you bring in your data obviously i'm not going to go through this is not a video on bringing how to bring in data to power bi you would just go in here you can uh, load it in this way or you can load it this way and say excel and then select for each sheet Right, so I've got all three of them in here. I've already built out this dashboard, but we're going to add something to it. I don't have the abuse piece in there, right? But uh, in a minute, we'll do that. First, let's go look at our relationships. So when I want to look at the relationships, if I look at this right now, I can't see the relationships. It used to be there was a uh, button over here on the ribbon that you could see relationships. Now you have to click on the individual table. So if I click on redemptions, right? So now I've clicked on redemptions. Now I can see this where it says table tools. I can select there, and then I, if I'm on the wrong uh, page of this, I can go there, and then I can see Manage Relationships, just like this. So if I hit Manage Relationships, I will see I right now have two different uh, joins or relationships. One is between redemptions and the potential abuse cards, which is based off of customer number and customer ID. So that's right there. And the other one is off of re the redemptions to the campaign info based on the offer number. We talked about that earlier. So I can look at any of these two. This, um, let me see, this one here came right off the bat. Sometimes by default, it will find, Power BI is pretty good at that, will find your relationships and define them for you. So in this case, if I go to edit and I pull this up, I've got the redemptions. It gives me a sample of the data. It doesn't show me every row of the data, just like top three rows. And then it shows me the campaign info, same thing. And it shows me in gray the columns that are being joined. Now, what's important to know down below is it, what is the cardinality? Is it many to one? Is it one to one? Okay. So, and then which way is it going? So if I look at this, I'm looking at from redemptions. I'm trying to pull the data from the campaign info table to the redemption table because this has my uh, discount count discount amount 
cards, and date. So I, this is the most important table here. And these are data tables that I'm pulling the data from. So I want to be able to pull type, offer, and uh, customer type from here. I want to be able to pull those three to here. So what I'm doing is I'm saying for each one of these, I want to be able to find the individual one here. I want a single lookup, right? Now there could be, why is it saying many to one? Because in this table, there could be many, two, three, six, and there will be many of the, each one of these versus in this table, there's just one. Right, so it's many to one. That's how we're doing that. Um, now I could always switch this if I needed to, if I needed to go backwards. So if I was taking this data here to bring back here, I might wanna have it both ways. In this case, I don't need to do that. Now, so that's how that one works. If I go and click on the other one, I had to add that one. You would add one by hitting new. And then you get the same thing as this. You would add what tables, you would select which tables you want. All right, so I've got redemptions. And this is based on customer ID and customer number. Now let's look at this. One to one means what? Well, so we're gonna have one of these will equal a, a, a distinct card in here. Now obviously it's not matching these guys right here, that's fine. But there will be a distinct card here that matches a distinct card here. And in that case, we want one to one, right? Now it's possible you could have multiple cases of that here. In this case, we don't because each person was limited to one coupon and that's it. And that's done through uh, the system, okay? So, but we wanna be able to do it both ways. See that? So automatically we wanna be able to do that so we can look from here to here or here to here, okay? And I'll show you it again in a minute. So if I close this out and I close this out, I can also look at them in here. So let's go and pull this up. And this will show you the actual table design in a second here. Give it a minute. There we go. Okay, and let's bring the property. Well, let's bring fields over so you can see it's a little bit better. So when you look at this, you've got our table of redemptions, campaign info, and our potential abuse cards. And see how the arrow is pointing? Well, you got one arrow, right? And it's pointing particularly from offer number back here because it's a one to one, or actually this is many to one, but it's going from here, campaign info, because each has one, remember we talked about that, and there can be many instances in here. And you can click on this to get the properties of it, which will get you right back to what we saw earlier. So it's just another way of getting and driving your uh, joins here or your relationships. You could also build them in here too. You could drag something from here over to here if you wanted to. And then we have this one, see how it lights up the fields? when you click when you holly it over it and we've got customer ID and customer number and remember now this one is not one to many so the star is many this one has one to one so each customer number matches to an exactly to another customer number you don't have a range of customer numbers so that's what it's telling you here but it's also both ways so it can go this way or this way I'm really only using it going back this way so I could put it with one arrow going back this way if I wanted to, and that's fine. It doesn't hurt anything to have it this way. But this tells you the relationships both ways here. Now you can also go and look at your any of the data here if you wanted to, any of the data types. That's not what we're really looking at today. We're just building relationships. So once you've done this and you've got this, this is just uh, a dashboard based off that. So if I have all these correct, I should be able to see, I can see all the data under each of these right here. And if I have it built correctly, I should be able to build this. This one right here is a chart, or it's actually in here it's called table, and uh, but it's a chart. And what I've got is I've got two different types of data in there, right? I have the offer number, which comes from here, discount, count, discount amount, sometimes discount, count is also called redemptions but in this case we have two groups of them we have people that got a two dollar coupon and we have people that got two dollars or a percentage five percent ten percent fifteen percent off on app purchases so they could be a discount amount and discount count i'd rather have that than saying redemptions because the redemption amount doesn't necessarily mean that it was a re true redemption amount. it could be a discount amount so that's why I use that. Anyway, um, you can see in this that we have data from here and we have data from here. 
broad and it's correct. So that means the join was correct also. And it shows the data, you know, the offer, the type, and the customer type. So we've got all that here. And then we can also go and look at that by, you know, pie chart, uh, any of these circle charts and uh, line graphs based on, you know, do I want it by heavy, light, medium, app, mailer, how do I want it broken out, and uh, offer uh, transactions. And what if I wanted to identify the abuse, right? If I wanted to identify abuse usage, maybe we would go and take these guys and put a, uh, uh, let's see here, if I wanted to see how much abuse we could put, even a card maybe. Uh, let's put that here multi let's take a regular card and I might put this up above but let's just take that and if we were to look at customers that abuse right so if we go here and this potential abuse just has one thing the customer card so if I took this and put this here that shows us too so being that this is already filtered let me show you just to offers not blank right so we have it has to be one of these offers what it's done is it's already filtered this down and found that out of those, was it five that were in there? I believe if we look at this, uh, what was that potential abuse cards? Out of those five, two of those are being used. There are two that are in there. So they could go back and say, okay, I need to see it. Now I would probably take this and put this up here because it's a small little thing and maybe put it because they want, if this was important to them, I might put it over here um, and then that way I bring this back over here because I don't want to make that a small graph. Oops, I don't know how that happened there. Let's put it back. And I might go here, and this is how you outline these things. If you don't know this already, you just go to on right there. It outlines it. Uh, let's put... All right, let's go there, borders on, and maybe you could call this your abuse card. So you just go in here, rename that, and say potential abuse cards. And then there, the marketing department can go and look into that and say, oops, what happened there? We've had it, and then it decided it didn't like it. Let's do it again. Space. Potential abuse cards. There we go. So we got potential abuse cards are identified and then they can go and filter this however they want. Um, I've got other videos. I'll show you exactly how to build these different visuals if you want to learn that. Uh, it's pretty simple. I've got one, two, three, four, five of these uh, slicers in here and they're right here. Uh, there's your slicers. You can make it based off of whatever you want. I have this one based off of offer type customer type. So these are the three I'm bringing in from the campaign info, right? And then we've got transaction date, which is right here from redemptions. And then we've got abuse cards. I could even filter it to that, but why would I want to for two? I'm not going to. Okay. But it shows you uh, quickly a bunch of information in a nutshell. And I showed you how to go here and change up or look at your relationships here. I also showed you how out here to uh, get to your relationships, which is just go to any of these tables and then click on manage relationships. And then you can add them in. Sometimes Power BI will not see the relationships by default and it's fine, just add them in here, click new. And then you just go in here to a blank slate and you say, okay, I want redemptions to uh, campaign info and see it's already going to find them quickly it you know it's already saying offer number offer number so and then you just pick your cardinalities you know is it one to one is it one to many is it many to one and then what is your cross filter see it's already saying there's a relationship between these two columns already so I don't need to bother with that okay but that's how you do relationships in Power BI it's very simple and easy you could have many of them you could have 10 different relationships it depends on the tables and how real interrelated they are Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share so you can catch up with all the other great and stay in tune with all the other great videos I have coming out. We're going to have all kinds of great stuff. Sentimental analysis is coming out. One of my next videos and a bunch of other great things. Thanks again and have a great day.